<laughs> Greetings, my confectionery compadres, and welcome to Randy Makes Candy, where I help you make tasty treats that people love to eat. I was at the store the other day and saw some cookie dough Twix on the shelf, which reminded me that I've had cookie dough Twix on my to-do list for quite a while. So tonight's the night. I got the recipe for the dough from the Bake It With Love website. I'll link it in the description so you can take a look at it. As always, I'd love to hear about your results if you decide to make your own cookie dough Twix, as well as suggestions for other recipes you'd like to see in future videos. For this recipe, I used one cup of room temperature butter, one cup of light brown sugar, packed, one third cup of granulated sugar, one half teaspoon of salt, three tablespoons of whole milk, two teaspoons of vanilla extract, two cups of all-purpose flour, one cup of mini chocolate chips, 16 Walker shortbread fingers, and two and a half cups of chocolate for dipping. I also used a baking sheet, a mixer, a spatula, a bowl, and a couple of precision dipping tools. Okay, let's make some candy. These cookies were pretty big, so I started out by cutting them in half. If you'd like to leave them intact, go for it. Set your oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. When it comes up to temp, spread the flour out on a baking sheet and bake it for five minutes. Some folks will tell you that heating the flour is optional, but I always do it. Raw flour may contain pathogens that can make you quite ill, but the pesky critters are vulnerable to heat, so before you devour, heat up your flour. Add the butter and sugars to a mixing bowl and cream them together. Add the salt, milk, and vanilla extract, then mix thoroughly. Add about half of the heat treated flour and mix until just combined. Add additional flour as needed to get a slightly sticky dough. Don't let it get too dry. We don't want it falling off the cookies as we're trying to dip them. Fold in the mini chocolate chips. Take some of the dough, layer it onto a cookie, then place it on a lined cutting board. Repeat with the rest of the cookies. Temper or melt the chocolate, then dip a dough-covered cookie into the chocolate, let the excess drain, and place it on a lined cutting board. Repeat until all of the cookies are dipped, then leave them on the counter to set. And that's it. Okay, let's have a taste. Slant your vibe.
These are even better than I expected them to be. The chocolate is snappy, the dough is creamy, the cookie is crunchy, and these flavors all work really well together. Nicely sweet, but the salt in the dough adds a nice snap to it. Now you could just go to the store and buy yourself some cookie dough Twix, but I don't think that you should. You know what I think? I think you really ought to try these. Oh, and I had some cookie dough and chocolate remaining after I ran out of shortbread, so I just made some chocolate covered cookie dough. I imagine these will taste pretty good as well. Which reminded me that I have had cookie covered. I got the recipe. Take some of the dough, layer it onto. 